Hey everyone, in this video we're gonna quickly cover the essential features that you're gonna need when you want to begin your journey on Div Hunt. Keep in mind that every single feature that we're gonna cover in this video has its own separate descriptive video on this channel. And remember, Div Hunt offers much more than what's shown in this video, like CMS, REST API and many many more. But those are the topics for some other videos. Without waiting anymore, let's begin. Our first actual step is to set up a name for our project. I'm going to skip these steps and immediately create my project. Here you can choose if you want to start from the scratch or use one of the templates. I'm going to use this one. You'll be directed to the site settings. You can immediately go to the builder by this button here. You'll be directed to the builder where you'll immediately notice a canvas system. Here you can move freely. You can unzoom and zoom. On the left side you can see a pages panel, here you can see a list of all your pages inside your project, you can unpin these pinned pages by the right click and as you can see pinning the pages is not necessary. If you want to use some of the predefined section you can find them here and here. Let's choose this CTA and let's just drag it inside our project and it's that simple. You also have the wireframes and the method is the same, just simply drag them inside your project. If you want to change content for the text tag, you need to select your text tag, double click on it. In this pop-up you type in anything you like, hit the save button and the text will be changed. As for the images, you select your image tag, click on the replace file here, select the image, hit the use and the image will be replaced. If you want to add new tags, it's pretty simple, you have two different methods. Through this quick menu here, you simply left click on the tag and it will be added. Or you can hit Ctrl E on your keyboard, type in the name of the tag that you want to add, hit enter and your tag will be automatically added. If you want to remove a certain tag, just right click on it, hit the remove button and the tag will be removed. Now if you want to style those tags, you can just go here into the designer panel and you can set up all the styles that you want. For example, let's change the color of this text, so you can change it here by the color picker or you can choose one of the predefined colors. Now how to set up a predefined color? Go here into the styles, then into the colors and you can see the list of all the created colors. Now if I hit the plus button and let's name this one new color, let's hit confirm and if I go here I can assign a color value to my variable. If I select my span again and open my color picker again you will see that we have created our new color variable here. On the left side inside the layers panel you can see the list of all the tags that you have on your page and you can interact with them by right clicking on them and you will get some additional settings connected to your tag. You can even go to the pages panel, right click on any page and you will get some additional options like these SEO settings for your specific page. If you click here, you will open your page into the live mode and you can see all the changes that you've made if you're admin. If you want to publish the changes for all the other users, you can just go here into the corner, hit the publish button and the changes will be available for all the other users. If you want to connect the custom domain, you can click on this manage domains and you will be led to this screen here. One quick note here, even if you're using a free plan, you can still connect a custom domain. Here you need to type in a custom name of your domain, hit the update button and down below you will get all the necessary data to set up on your domain provider. When it comes to the speed and performance of your website, DivHunt does most of the work for you. Now we are going to discuss some of the more advanced features. If you want to edit your tags globally, you just simply need to select them, then go over here and select this global selector. Now every changes that you add, for example on this heading 1, will be applied to all heading 1s throughout the website. If I add another heading 1 here, you will see that it will inherit all the styles that we've set globally. To add or remove the classes on your tag, you again go here, then here you can remove the class. While we are here, we can as well add a class to our tag and it will inherit all the styles that this class contains. If we want to set up a hover state for this button, we can set it on a class, open the instance here, open the state drop down, select a hover, hit create and all the styles that we apply here will be counted as a hover state on our class. If you want to add a custom CSS to your tags, you just need to select it, then go here and you will get all the CSS styles that this tag contains. You can paste down the styles from the Figma or some other sources, hit the save button and that tag will inherit those styles. You can add other type of the custom code here into the files and organize it well or you can go here into the settings, then you can go to this custom code tab and here you can paste the custom code for your website that you need. If you want to use the plugins on DivHunt, you just need to go here to the settings, then to the browse plugins and install any plugin that you wish to use. Then you can go to the builder, select a tag, 
Go to the settings panel, open the transform drop down and here you can apply any plugin that you want. I'll apply this one, if I click here I will open the additional settings connected to this plugin. Here I can tweak some details connected to my plugin to make it fit to my needs and into the preview mode of my website I can see how some of the plugins work. If you want to add or edit the interactions you can go to the interactions tab then I can open my existing interaction and here I can do all the edits that I need. I can preview them here and when I'm finished I can hit the save button and that's it. You can turn sections into component by simply right clicking on it, then hit convert into component and then into the components tab you can access all the component that you've created. Components are great for reusable structures, every change that you make here will apply to the every component throughout your website. And we came to the end of this guide. Check out this video here where we discussed all of these features but a little bit slower. Until the next time, happy building!